Well, Bickergard's rather frustrated right now. It's uh, almost 8.30 at night. I've been working on my iPhone for uh, since about noon, trying to get the uh, Wi-Fi and the uh, Bluetooth to work. I am convinced this is not an issue on my end. It's a question of the technology not working properly. Sometimes I wonder, sometimes I wonder, with all the technology that we have, some point the stuff just doesn't work because everything else has to change with that change you know so if apple makes a change to its phones or att institutes 5g in my neighborhood in the airwaves guess what my freaking wi-fi doesn't work anymore my bluetooth doesn't work anymore and i have spent a long time working on it today and i am frustrated But, once again, beer is the consolation of a life that doesn't always work. I know alcohol causes a lot of problems. I know it does. I'm not stupid. I worked as a school counselor for 30 years, and before that I worked at a university, and before that I worked at a reform school. And alcohol, alcohol has its fingerprints all over trouble, all over the place. But you know, the trouble's not alcohol. It's, it's not alive. It's not, a, it's not a living thing. Yeast is alive. Kind of bizarre, but we're not sure how. It's alive. Don't know if it's a, a sentient being, as they say. But it's the human heart that gets messed up that we expect alcohol or money or sex or power or food love from other people if it's not godly love selfish love is that really love who knows it's the human heart that's bad man it's not this you know it's not this it can be it doesn't help if your heart's wrong the alcohol just is like pouring gas in a fire but tonight i was going to do a review of omegong Abby Double Ale, but guess what? I had to do it on my old iPad, and I can't transfer it over right now. It's not working properly. But I could upload it to YouTube. Well, guess what? They don't support my old iPad anymore, so I have to do it through Google, and it won't allow me to up upload the file. It's not a big problem. Like, whatever. Like, this is not something I'm going to get all ticked off about beyond just venting here a little bit. So I've decided to switch gears. And go to a wee, a wee heavy beer that I brewed. This is like the last one, or maybe there's one more in the beer fridge. It's almost like a Belgian quad. Yeah. It may even be more malty. Let's taste, to give it a taste. It's got a nice head on it. A wee heavy is a Scottish uh, version of beer. It's very much like what a bourbon or a scotch would become before they took all the water out of it. Oh, it's got a beautiful, malty, delicious taste. Not many hops. I don't remember what the IBU on this uh, Wee Heavy kit was. It was pretty low. Uh, but it's a fine tasting beer, yo. The reason why I decided to brew a Scottish Wee Heavy was I had bought a, a case of a Wee Heavy out of the distributor. I think it was like $65. It was called the Skull Splitter. And it was from Scotland, I believe, or somewhere close to Scotland, maybe Orkney. It's an island off of Scotland. And at 65 bucks, I could do better brewing it myself because I can get a case for about half that price if I homebrew. Just depends where I get the kit from. So I got this kit uh, online and uh, I brewed it probably a couple years ago. It's not the kind of beer you work through super fast. It's got a beautiful, delicious, foamy head on it it's still fermenting because the yeast is alive i don't know what the abv on this is let me give it a taste here the tasteometer and see what it, what i would say that's probably ringing in about nine percent alcohol 
very little hops super smooth you know i'm trying to get away from drinking really heavy beers like this super high abv beers i can't be knocking off three of these and say hey it's only three beers that's a bunch of baloney you got got some stupid math going on there so what i've been doing recently is i'll uh I'll drink like a PBR Yangling Lager and then I'll mix in a high alcohol beer. Tell you what, I don't feel quite as dehydrated over the night. I rarely wake up hungover because I'm rarely ever getting drunk, but there are times where I drink more than, uh, than uh, the average human, I would suppose, and I uh, get a bit parched and have to wake up and drink some water through the night. So I've just been drinking more watery beers. So like maybe a, a Yangling Lager, a PBR, and then mix in one of these bad boys. And then it's a good, good one, two, three. But make no doubt about it. I prefer the taste of this a lot more. So I've had phone trouble all day. I give up. It's beating me to the ground. I used to deal with problems all the time in my job. I don't have a lot of problems these days in terms of that kind of issue. I don't, I'm not working anymore. So it's good to be challenged and my brain's racked and I can't figure out what the solution is. And I'll go to the Apple store if I need to. I have to get my Wi-Fi working because uh, my, uh, my Bluetooth isn't working either. And I can't uh, cast uh, shows to my television set if that's the case. So at some point I have to figure it out. I think it's just something that Apple has to do an update. I'm pretty convinced it's an Apple issue right now. I think things are changing too quickly. Uh, COVID's probably affected some kind of coherence on the software side. I think the phone itself is fine. I think 5G implementation is blocking the Wi-Fi signal somehow. I'm not sure how. I've done all the updates. I give up. I've been defeated. But the good news, when you... Uh, Get your butt kicked. There's always a nice beer to drink at the end. Amen.